Back at Eldridge Park, top of the fourth inning. Beautiful Friday night for baseball. Matt Scalzo, Cam Manna, happy to be with you here. It's a two to one Orleans lead over Bourne. Henry Hunter, the two run blast in the bottom of the third. Gives Orleans their first lead of the night. Sam Peterson to lead off against the righty in Ovidia. He grounds the first pitch foul. Down the third base side, it's 0 and 1. Peterson's 0 for 1, popped out to the second baseman in Oyama. His first go round in the top of the first. Bryce Eblin and Garrett Michelle to follow. 0 1, caught on and missed by Peterson. It's 0 and 2. The 0 2 from Avidia. Breaking ball just misses low. And it's 1 and 2 to Sam Peterson, center fielder out of Iowa. Came into the night with a 273 average. 1 2, ground ball, third base side. It rolls foul. And we'll go one more time on the 1 2 count. And a lot of the off speed pitches for Avidia, you can see, kind of pushes it a little bit more, less of the sidearm delivery. And on the fastball, sometimes lets his arm a lot more loose. Another one, two. Swing and a miss. Peterson down on strikes. Fooled on the breaking ball. Nice squeeze from Hunter behind the plate. And there's one gone in the top of the fourth on Avidia's third strikeout of the night. Good pitch there. It's been his breaking ball. The fastball velocity, not anything crazy, but that delivery and changing the pace on the mound from Avidia works fast sometimes, can slow down. It's It's been tough to read. First pitch to Eblin. He comes up empty on the fastball, and it's 0-1. Eblin singled to right field his first time up. He was caught stealing in the inning. The 0-1. Eblin, scorcher back up the middle, and it will find its way into center field. Another base hit for Bryce Eblin. He's two for two, and there's a man on first with one out here on the top of the fourth. And that's big for Eblin to get hot right here, and came into the game batting 224. has not been able to kind of get a lot of himself going the last two weeks, but back-to-back -back singles, and he's moved a lot throughout the order and now finding himself here tonight. Here's Garrett Michelle now. He worked a walk his last time up. He takes the first pitch fastball outside for ball one. Eblin was caught stealing his last time on base. Throw to first from Avidia, head first dive from Eblin. He's back safely. One out of Michelle. Swing and a miss on the fastball. It's one and one. Eblin takes his two step lead over at first, and now he dives back safely on the throw over from Avidia. One one count, one out. Two to one, the lead for Orleans. Henry Hunter's two run home run in the bottom of the third. The difference so far. Born struck first in the top of the first inning. 1-1, one, one. Michelle turns on it, flies it high in the air, deep towards center field. Ranging back is Tuft, he's underneath it, and he'll make the catch. Tagging is Eblin trying to go in for second. The throw gets away from Oyama on the hop. And the aggressiveness from Bryce Eblin pays off. He advances over to second on the fly out to center field for Michelle. A lot of stuff happening there. Michelle kind of check swinged, and that ball was still crushed from Michelle towards the deepest part of the ballpark. 434 towards that triangle in dead center. But that deep fly of ball, Eblin being aggressive once again. We saw him caught stealing back in that second inning. And if he was going to be aggressive again, that time he had to convert, and he did, sliding in safely. Now New Contrade digs in, man, in scoring position with two outs in Eblin. Bourne looking to strike back and tie it up here in the top of the fourth. First pitch to Contrade. It's a line drive that slices foul down the first base side. And it's 0-1. Contrade struck out. His first time up in the second. Here's the second strikeout for Avidia. The 0 1. Ground ball, left side of the infield. Gloved by Penny. He spins, fires to first. It's in time. Beautiful play by Jack Penny to get the third out. Bourne strands another, and it's 2 1 Firebirds as we head into the bottom of the fourth. But first, we welcome in Allie Navarrete, who's got more. What have you got for us, Allie? Back at Polar Park, 
first pitch to Garrett Michelle in the ball from Nate Shuddy on the off speed. Matt Scalzo alongside Cam Anna, happy to be with you here on a beautiful Monday night for baseball. 1-0, pops up out of play left field line. It's only one to Michelle. DHing tonight, he's one for three. Single to picked up an RBI in the second, struck out and then popped out to left his last time up. A half swing on the 1-1 and he dribbles it towards the Wareham dugout on the first base side, it's one and two. Nate Chuddy, he's gone three innings in his first appearance this season. Here's the one, two. Michelle, hard hit, line drive. This will split the gap out in the right center field and it rolls all the way to the wall. Out of reach for Bobby Bozer. Michelle around second, motoring on his way to third. Here's the relay throw from Cologne. Michelle is safe at third. What a way to start the top of the eighth for Garrett Michelle, a triple. We hadn't seen one get past these outfielders yet tonight, but Michelle ropes one into the gap in right center and gets away from Bozer and goes all the way to the wall. Great swing for Michelle and for Bozer there, not the best read, trying to cut off that ball, but awesome for Michelle, just burning and turning his helmet coming off into third base, all he could do was smile. Gage Harrelson takes the first pitch ball on the fastball. Outside 1-0 and, oh, and Bourne, that's their 10th hit, looking to make it 6-0 as Harrelson sets the 1-0 -oh from Chuddy. Down and in, 2-0. And, oh. and for Michelle, someone who's struggled a little bit as of late, picked up the home run last night, but went one for four, three strikeouts. Second hit for him tonight. The 2-0, -oh, Harrelson, a high fly ball left field. This is slicing out of play and will land in the board bullpen down the left field line. Two and one now to Harrelson. And the whole dugout for Michelle's triple, they were just pumped up. Cam Foster was leaned over the railing and fell out of the dugout. They were freaking out for Michelle and Michelle wasn't sure if he was gonna go three, stepped on the bag, was looking at Topoleski at third and got the wave. Two one, count the pitch from Chuddy. It's a fastball, it's a touch outside, three and one. Now to Harrelson. Gage is one for two tonight. Singled and made it over to third in the second, then struck out in the third. Three, one, elevated fastball, he comes up empty. It's a full count now. Harrelson worked to walk his last time up in the sixth. Full count, here's the pitch from Chuddy. Harrelson drives it the other way. This is slicing towards the corner, but it will land out of play do it all over again. Lefty on righty here between Chuddy and Harrelson. Another full count the pitch from Chuddy. Swing and a miss. Harrelson down on strikes. For Chuddy, that's his first strikeout. And there's one gone in the top of the eighth. Nice pitch there from Chuddy, just bouncing back on Harrelson, going low and outside, a good spot, Harrelson just late. But for Bourne here, looking to tack on more and keep their offense going with 10 hits. Sam Peterson digs in. It's a first pitch, fastball, down in the dirt, 1-0. Peterson is 0 for 2, struck out looking in the second, that was his first time up, then in the fourth he grounded out to third. 1-0, fastball way outside. Hernandez back can't stop, so 2-0. And then Peterson walked back in the sixth. 2-0 count, Chuddy working from the first base side of the rubber. The pitch, high inside to Peterson, 3-0. No shift on in the infield or the outfield. Middle infielders in Caulfield and Cologne on the outfield grass. First baseman and share it off the line. 3-0, Peterson ground ball, third base side. It's foul, it's three and one. Bozer's camped out in straightaway center field. Brennan in right, closer towards the line, leaving a big gap out in right center. And Stevenson in standard left field, the 3-1. It's inside, and Peterson's worked back-to-back -back walks his last two times up to the plate. Puts runners on the corners with one away as the top of the order comes back up for the Braves. Nice at bat there from Peterson battling pitches. And Ryan Smith, manager for the Gateman, comes out to the mound. The wonder for Chuddy here, look, this looks like it may do it. And it will be 
the night potentially here for Chuddy. There is an arm up in the Wareham bullpen, but they're not going to take the ball from him. They're going to let him ride here in the top of the eighth. 61 pitches for Chuddy so far. He's gone three and a third. He's given up five hits. One run, it's been earned, but he's dished out four walks to one strikeout. Back to the top of the order here. Fourth, four, Jonathan Bastine comes up to bat. Double play depth up the middle. Corners pinched in, Sharon holding on to Peterson over at first. First pitch to Bastine, he swings and sends a high fly ball deep to left center field. Going back is Bozer, makes the catch on the backhand. Tagging from third is Michelle, he'll come in to score. Jonathan Bastine does his job, he makes it six to nothing Braves on his second RBI of the night. For Bourne tonight, it's not been a lot of big RBI doubles, big RBI singles. When they've got guys in scoring position, especially on third base, they've found ways to get them in. Either ground ball out, sack flies, moving runners over. It's been that next man up mentality and Bourne's got it done. Peterson's going on the first pitch to Corona Grauer. It's a fastball outside. The throw from Hernandez, not in time. Peterson with his first stolen base of the night. That's his 14th on the season. That's a runner in scoring position for Josh Corona Grauer. one -oh. Fastball right down the shoot one and one. And you love Bourne here not shying away from scoring more runners. Peterson going there on the first pitch to Corona Grauer and just flying in safely. Six to nothing now the lead for the Braves. The one one to Corona Grauer. It's a fastball. A little low and a little outside as well. Two and one, two away. In the top of the eighth inning. Sixth and final meeting between these two in the 100th season of Cape League Baseball. Wareham's taken three. Bourne's had a pair. Throw to Grauer. Hard hit ground ball goes straight back to where it came from. It's picked up by Chuddy and he flips to first to end the inning. But Bourne adds another. The sack fly from Vastine makes it six to nothing Braves as we head into the bottom of the eighth on the Bourne Braves broadcast network. Infield in here for Bourne. Vastine on the infield grass. Corona Grauer creeping in as well. Here's the payoff pitch. Ike, line drive, right field. That'll score one. Smith gets the wave around. Here's the throw home. It is not in time, and we are tied at five. One and one with Ike over at second. Lefty on lefty between Lavelle and Lipsy. Lavelle looks over at second, the 1 0 -oh home. Lipsy sends it deep in the air, left field. Racing back is Peterson at the track, at the wall. It is gone. Trey Lipsy. Going the other way and puts Hyannis on top. His first home run in not only the postseason, but the entire summer. And it's a big one. Makes it seven to five Hyannis. Pete was so ready to go ahead of first pitch. Was just waiting for first pitch to come. So ready to go. Two, two. This is grounded first base side. Sneaks under the glove of York. Rolls all the way to the corner. Peterson around second. He's getting the wave around from Topoleski at third. Jufreda turns around second on his way to third. The relay throw from York is not in time. Pete Jufreda. An RBI triple here in the top of the fourth. It's five to one Braves. Trimble in the postseason. He's played in three games. A 167 hitter. Only six at bat so far. Here he turns, lifts a high drive, left field. Going back is Peterson, looking up. It is long gone. Fenwick Trimble had the grand slam against YD, and he starts out game one with a bang, a slow solo shot to left field. It's one to nothing, Firebirds in the bottom of the first. The 3-1, Oyama, deep fly ball in the left field. Peterson going back at the track. He's done it again. Joe Oyama, have yourself a playoffs. His second home run of the night in two at-bats, and it's 2 nothing Firebirds. First pitch, line drive, center field, hustling in his Harrelson. He dives. Did he get it? Yes, he did. Gage Harrelson, a diving catch in center field. Robs Kyson Donahue of a base hit, and there's one gone in the bottom of the ninth. Lavelle. 
A one-two count trying to end it. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Wolfert down on strikes. And Bourne takes this one over Chatham, nine to seven. They sweep the season series four to nothing. And they sweeten the deal, clinching their fi the final spot in the West. And they are off to the playoffs. Bourne began the game with a returner from last year's championship team in Bryce Cunningham. Lavelle looking to finish it. The 1-1. Oyama lifts a fly ball deep in right field. Diggs moves in. He's underneath it, and he'll make the catch for the third and final out here in the bottom of the ninth. Bourne takes game one, 6-4 to four over Orleans. Looking to come up clutch. First pitch swing, lines it into left center field. That'll be down. Contrades turning on the Jets, coming in to score. Harrelson on his way to third. Bryce Eblen delivers the game-tying RBI single in the top of the ninth. We're knotted at three. 0-1, York turns, drives this down the right field line and into the corner. Cam Smith around third. Zachary York, the hero tonight in Hyannis. The walk-off single, and the Harbor Hawks take this one. Four to three over Bourne. The 3-1, Greta Grauer turns, looks a high drive, deep to left field, going back and turn, looking up. It's gone. A two-run shot for Josh Corona Grauer. His first home run of the summer, and what a big moment. Makes it five to nothing, Born here in the top of the fourth. 